And in the bottom right position, spawning as the Teal Zerg, we have the Cheese King himself, aka Michael. And in the top right corner we have Sawyer, the Blue Terran. Will we see anything crazy this game? No, no. He you built Boss up strong, just as I said that. <laughs> well, I I actually wouldn't mind seeing a, like a, a crazy Guardian rush this game because they're vertical spawns. Uh, AKA close air spawns on Circuit Breaker. So going for like a fast two base Guardian here I think is pretty decent. Um, but hopefully not that weird like Hydra Den into don't make any Hydras or Lurkers and make 10 Sunken Colonies into Guardians build because that's that's a little bit uh, a little bit dubious. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking. Like, if he just like spams sunken colonies, he can never take a third. He can never move out. He can never do anything. If he was playing on Andromeda, I can understand it because there's island expansions and there's the mineral only in your base, mm. and you can kind of make something happen there. Yeah. But on fighting spirit, you're just stuck. Indeed, I I completely agree. I I like at at. Halfway through that game, I was like, wait, is this Michael? Is this some, like, you know, one of those fancy new uh, AIs from the AI competition playing? Or oh something? God. It's just, like, the build made absolutely no sense. I wonder, man, maybe, did he just forget something? Like, what, what if, okay, okay, what, what if this happened? All right, guys, let's, 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 uh, let's brainstorm here. What if Michael was originally going three hatch lurkers, and then he forgot to get the lurker upgrade and didn't realize it? And then, right as he was gonna make, like, you know, nine hydras or whatever to turn into lurkers, he realized he didn't have the upgrade, so he's like, oh, alright, let's let's actually just change the build and go straight hive or something like that. Like, is oh, that is actually possible because he only just started his hydra speed after hmm. the hydras were already out. Hmm. I guess, I guess we'll have to, uh. It looks like. No, no, never mind. Just kidding. He's just scouting, but he's... I was gonna say he's gonna take a third in the bottom left corner here because it looked like his overlord potentially knew he was in the top right corner. But I don't think he's actually seen the Terran yet, his overlord. Uh, let's have a look. He sees the edge of the command center now. So he will know... Oh, yeah, and he is moving back with the drone to take the third on the bottom left corner. Ooh, sneaky fast third base here from the Cheese King. Now, Sawyer, though, should have enough game sense to realize his third hatchery, right? Because everything else will be late in the, in the base. Yeah, he should realize that there's a third hatchery somewhere in the map and go scouting for it with his SCV now, or send a second SCV. But with the uh, fast third build, you do tend to spam a lot of Zerglings out, so you can usually barely defend it if you do it correctly. Okay. And this way, with the fast gas, he can he can go for that high rush again and actually have the gas to make the units that yeah. he wants. This fast uh, third build is actually the way that Shine um, did the build in the ASL. Oh. Wait, who did Shine do it against? Uh, it was his bag build against Mong, I think, wasn't it? Okay. I, I don't know, I didn't actually watch many of the games. It was on the new, honest. at the time, the new map. It was like last season. Mm. Uh, Camelot, I think it's called, yeah. Yep, that definitely rings a bell. Oh, uh. the Zerglings are moving in and they're gonna get a position on the Marines here. Uh oh. Pulls all of his SCVs to try and deal with them. Oh man, one Marine falling already. Legs in close quarters, no support for the Marines, no medics, no range, no stim, and the Zerglings cut them down easily. And this is so annoying for his Sawyer. His SCVs are all idle now, that is natural, because he pulled them but he didn't realise that they weren't quite fighting. Oh man, oh! But he's gonna catch one, the last circling! Boom, got him. He does get one more SCV kill just before he goes down though. And that is actually looking quite good for Zerg here, with the fast third build. Yeah, now that he lo he's lost those initial marines, it's very difficult for him to actually find a timing to move out here, especially with only the two barracks. He went for the fast plus one, but he hasn't done the barracks explosion, and I guess really getting disrupted by that Ling attack, spending his minerals instead on the bunker, but without the extra three barracks, he's just not going to be that scary. I mean, sure, you get a flash plus one, but if you don't have any units to actually make use of the, uh, 
the, the upgrade, then that's not going to help you. And a Hydrogen again here for Cheese King. So perhaps, perhaps we're going to see this game, what his actual intention was with the last build. Whether he forgot Lurkers or he, I don't know, somehow forgot to take a third base. Uh, or something. Uh, this, this, as you say, definitely seems to be a more reasonable version of the build. Yep, and Sawyer has only just thrown down his academy, so he's not going to have a good offensive time in here. So I believe Cheese King will get away with this fast third build and get safely into Lurkers that will just be on the ramp at his third and be unbreakable while he shifts into his tech to go for the Guardian Lurker potential. Is the SCB going to see the bottom left base though? It's got two hits left on it. It's got one hit left on it. Can it make it up here? It's going to be close. Ugh. He saw the Overlord Did though. he see the Overlord though? Because if he has spotted the Overlord, it might give it away a little bit here. I mean, I guess even if he did know about it, there's not much he can do, right? He's finally added on up to the five barracks, but oops. Uh, but that seems a little bit late to me. And you can see how few units there. Uh, there's only six Marines on the field right now. Nothing he could do, even if he did see that base. And we do have the Lurkers evolving for Cheese King. So he is actually doing the Lurker opening properly this time. Yep, and he's just thrown down his Queen's Nest, so it looks like he might be going into the Guardian build, because that is about the right timing for him. Indeed it is. Man, I, I, I'm really glad that we actually finally have a Zerg player on the cast. You can tell me all the Zerg timings. See, I've been slowly absorbing all the knowledge of Terran timings and stuff from Kicks while we cast. Now I can absorb all the all the Zerg ones too. I can be, be like the ultimate solo casting Archon. Perfect. Oh, and he has the lurkers at his natural already, and they're stacking them on top of each other under an overlord. So oh my god. If Sawyer doesn't see this, he might have them in oh whole position god. and just kill his entire army. Wow, that is so sneaky. Even if he scans it, he might not notice. And he can just he can put them on a whole position and bait the marines. I mean, they're, they're basically, they're all going to run in and start attacking the Sunken Colony. Sawyer might scan this and be like, oh, he, he didn't make enough Sunken Colonies. I can go for the bust, and he's going to get skewered. Man, there's, there's even like a freaking Pimpus Play video about this, where some uh, some some uh, Zerg did this, I think, in a Pro League game on uh, that ridiculous map. I can't remember what it was called. But here we go. He's moving in. Where's the scan? Is he going to scan? Okay, we can see the two extra Creep Colonies now. The thing is though, Sawyer actually has to scan this and take the bait. Yeah, it looks like he's not gonna actually go in at all, which is... Oh, wait, he's gone. He's gone. There's the scan. Here it comes. He sees the one sunk in. He saw the, he saw the Hydras though, so maybe he'll get suspicious. Oh my god, he's going in! Where's the Lurkers? Oh! <laughs> Debated. Wow. <laughs> Eight kill Lurker there. Amazing. He's gonna be so sad after that. Holy cheese king, man. Oh my god, that was glorious. There's a third command center, though, on the way for Sori. He's got a few marines clearing out the top part of the map. But man, not only does that cost you your first marine force, but that has got to be a tilter, right? Imagine the psychological state of Sawyer right now. Like, god damn, how did that happen? Yeah, he's got to be tilted to the moon. Although, Cheese King hasn't uh, built his spire, so he, it looks like he's not actually gone the Guardians after all. Oh wait, this is actually a starboard, not a command center. Whoops, my bad. So there is actually no third command center on the way, which is a bit surprising to me, actually, uh, that he wouldn't. He's also killed his own bunker, for some reason? Huh? I guess it was blocking something, somehow. I don't see what it could be blocking though. There, looks like there's space on the left to get out. Weird. Alright, well, looks like uh, the Medic Marine now just holding position in the middle of the map. Doesn't want to run into any more Lurker Traps. The Hive though has finished. And what is the Hive Tech going to be? It's just going to be the Defiler Mount. He's not going for the Greater Spire. Getting the Nidus Canal at the bottom left as well. And uh, looks like going to take the fourth base straight away here. Yep, and he has his um, adrenal glands on the way as well, so he's just looking to play the safe game here since he feels like he's ahead and all he has to do now is take this fourth and just defend and he's gonna be miles ahead, potentially. Yeah, Michael is, uh, man, he's making Pimpus plays, he's rushing for the hive, he's got this game in the bag. This is actually really cool, so I mean, 
the thing is, if he wins this game, we'll be 2-2 in the series, like a, a very close series, which is, to be honest, a pleasant surprise, because I, you know, going into this matchup, I think a lot of people would have pegged Michael to be the favorite. I mean, I definitely would have pegged Michael to be the favorite. I think you did a, did a vote Michael, right? Yeah, I definitely voted Michael. Yeah, so... It's crazy, it's incredible. Sawyer busting out the moves in the last two games at least, and you know this game isn't necessarily over yet. 1-1 one, one is finished on the brains. He's starting to go for that uh, Vulture Mind switch into the eventual mech switch here, although he will need uh, at least another base to, to really start doing that properly. And there's a lot of lanes just patrolling the top left because Cheese King knows that the Terran would love to go and uh, plop down a command center at that top left main and start building factories. Yep, and Consim finishes, and he has his defilers in place now to defend both of his bases. So he should be fine here while he gets his upgrades going. He's got another evolution chamber on the way, looking to get plus two, plus one. But Seems no good. Ultralis Cavern as of yet. I like how um, Sawyer lifted just one barracks to go scout, and he's still producing from the other four. Uh... While, while also making the vultures, so just just switching out a single a single production building for the time being since you can't afford to do full switch yet. Speed vultures now in the middle of the map. Ooh, one of them gonna get picked off, but just gonna grab some of those zerglings. Really wants to uh, clear out the zerglings in the top left. I would imagine some marines also clearing out the 12 o'clock. Where is the third command center though? I still don't see another command center. Yeah, and he has his army sort of aimlessly in the middle of the map here, not really blocking off the zerg movement. Looks like he's a little bit uncertain of how to do the mech switch. He's been traumatized by that whole lurker. He's just, he's just imagining there's lurkers everywhere on the map. He's like, oh god, I can't go anywhere! Oh man, it's like it's like an even scarier version of the floor is lava. It's the floor is, is filled with cold lurkers. Even though he's got science vessels, he's still freaking out. Alright, looks like we got, uh, got some irradiates going down. The thing is, even if you have science vessels, right, the lurkers could be hiding under overlords. You never know which overlord has, an, has a lurker underneath it now. Have you seen that? Have you researched plague yet or not? Oh, he does oh! get plague on the army. Oh man, that that was a perfect call from you. You you just knew it was gonna happen. All right, looks like vultures on the left side. Gonna do a bit more fancy micro, but what? Look look at all these plague these plague dudes. Oh, but he's got the medics on move command though, so they're not actually wasting energy uh, any of their energy healing the marines, which is uh, exactly what you want until the plague finishes, so nice yeah. move. Usually what you want to do is you want to just take all of your marines and medics and move them like half the map across, and by the time they get there, the plague will be gone. Sounds good. Plague, so plague he is denying the, the top left corner though. There's a what? He's denying the bases in the top left corner, which is really hurting Sawyer a lot here. Yeah, yeah. Finally got the third base of the 12, but this this just feels super late. I think like mo modern TBZ, uh, it, it feels like it feels like you can expand super super quickly, getting the third base and, and just plopping down that fourth base and, and another main um, while your marines are running around on the map. But Sawyer just hasn't really been able to do this. Like it feels like he's perhaps less com less comfortable with this. Like his his mech play actually on crossing build was really great. So maybe he's just better with that style. Wow, double Ultras Cavern on the bottom left corner, and he's looking to get his Ultras as soon as he can, no. fully upgraded. Wait, how much does an Ultra Cavern cost? Uh, I'm not actually sure, I think it might be 200, 150. I wonder if that's actually... Oh, he gets a vessel. Shooting the links underneath the dark swarm. I'm gonna try and see this down. He does have loads more scourge as well, so he could get all the battles here if he moves on. Ah, uh, Blago, Blago! Eh. 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 Good effort. Double expanse happening though. Oh no, spot. these lurkers are actually getting shot by the tanks. Oh wait, the spawn oh, is actually. gonna go down. It's actually really interesting to me how Splash affects bar units when they're not under swarm, but not when they are under swarm. I don't know what the mechanic is behind that. Anyway, some more Scourge attempting to clear out these vessels, but not able to do so. And are we seeing any other hive tech? No, just another macro hatchery. Any guardians? Nope, just a double Ultra's cavern. He's actually only upgrading the carapace, not the speed, so that actually could have just been a mistake. Yeah, I'm not sure why, because you do want both of the upgrades, so you may as well know that he's got it. 
Oh, well, now he does it. Now he starts it. Hmm. We have an Ecto up the left it's side really of the map. Fine. Yeah. Sure is running in, and it looks like they are going to get cleaned up. 5v2, 1 Marines. No upgrades yet for the mech, but at least he's got the third base. But Sawyer just feels... It's, it's interesting, because he's ahead by, like, 30 supply, but it just feels like he's behind in the game. You know, he's got a bit of control outside the Zerg's natural, but not that much. And he's not, he hasn't been denying any of these bases. Like, he, he should just run down and kill the 6 o'clock, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, Cheese King's saving up for, like, the huge, huge, massive ultras that you just want to build all at once. And then just go with them. And he is going to get, like, 10 or so. Which is going to be very hard for Sawyer to stop with his very small army for this point in the game, actually. Kind of do what they can with this posturing. I don't get, I seriously don't get why he's not going down to the six o'clock. I guess he just doesn't realize that it's there, but he's constantly just like skirmishing and pushing against the Dark Swarm, which is pretty futile, right? It's not gonna go anywhere. He's actually suiciding a tank, missed pathing or something. One tank runs into the Lurker Fire, and more Lings running up the left side. Just come to Cheesecake doing a great job constantly denying uh, Sawyer from taking another base, although he is finally getting that inside. Uh, mineral only it almost feels a little bit to me like th like there's two things so partly sawyer isn't that comfortable with this style of tvz and also he even though it's certain break it actually feels like he's not 100 percent comfortable with the map to be honest like taking that mineral only so late is very strange in, in this matchup yeah but i did actually play against sawyer on ladder on this map and okay. what he did on that on that game was he built drop ships and he went for like a triple drop on all the different bases at once while also doing an attack on the front. Which is super scary and that seems like his, his main style. Okay, so, so definitely playing some uh, unorthodox stuff like mech and mass props rather than just a straight, uh, you know, ruthless bio play. By the way, Ultralis and a, uh, in combination with the play, clearing up the medic marine at the front that leaves the vessels unsupported and two vessels get blown up straight away. They did get the irradiates on the Ultralisks though, so they oh, will God, fall. The that is not true. Uh, oh my god. So many Ultras. Wait, can I? I can't even control click this. They're all over the screen. All right, I think there's like, uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ultralisks coming out. And here we go. They don't have any support. They're running into Spider Mines though. You gotta be careful. There was no mine clearing done. Two Ultralisks falling straight away. That's one of the beauties of the mech switch is mines are so good against Ultras and obviously Lings and Defilers and Lurkers as well. Um, but you know, 125 damage a pop is nothing to laugh at, but many Ultras still do barrel through. Seven Ultras running into the 12 o'clock. Link's actually cleaning up the tanks on the left side, and this could be the end for Sawyer. Yeah, Sawyer has nothing to defend though. He has six mines, two tanks, four vultures. There's no way he can stop that up now in a similar matter of time. Look at the supply difference as well. 165 to 91. The 12 o'clock lifted. Mineral only lifted. Sawyer is going to be effectively mined out here very, very shortly. His entire army was cleared out of the middle of the map. And I think we're going to see a GG suit uh, or any second now. And that's going to mean the series will be 2-2 two to two here in this best of 7. I thought that mine was going to do more, but Ultralisks, I forgot, have a million HP. I have a desperation holding on here. And, and there's the GG. Wow. 